Good day everybody, this is George from Get Smart Media. Today we're going to show you how to install the final firmware taking the Q3 out of beta. A few changes that we made was to update Kodi to version 17.1. Uh, we also included TeamViewer with the appropriate add-on, making remote support accessible fresh out of the box. Uh, we also fixed the issue with the Bluetooth remote and the issue with the home portal crashing. Uh, everything said and done. Uh, I believe we have a pretty stable release. If you do find any bugs, please make sure to uh, report it right away. I'll make sure that it gets to the right ears. Uh, I'd like to take this time to thank everyone who purchased a Q3 from us on pre-release. Your input was vital, and uh, you know this stable release wouldn't be possible without uh, without your help. Uh, I definitely appreciate the loyalty many of you have shown our brand. And uh, well, let's get started. Uh, getting this new firmware loaded on your unit. Uh, here are some things you're going to need. Number one, you're going to need a G-Box Q3. This isn't going to work if you have a G-Box Q2. So if you have a Q2, don't do this unless you want to break the box. Uh, so second thing you're going to need is a male uh, USB to male USB A type. I have one here. I uh, I ordered this on Amazon. All it is is a uh, male USB A type on both sides. And uh, I'll probably leave a uh, link in the description of this video for that. Uh, you're also going to need a Windows computer. Uh, you're also going to need a uh, USB burning tool. I'll go ahead and provide a link for that. Uh, you're also going to need a, uh, a toothpick, a paper clip, a bread tie. Pretty much anything that you could stick down in that reset port to, uh, to hit the uh, reset button. And uh, last thing you're going to need is the uh, AML update package. Uh, again, I will be providing a, uh, a link for that in the description of this video. All right, in the description of this video, I'm providing a link here to this file. The file we're looking for is this zip folder I've named Q3 Final Release Update Package. 1.0 zip. All right, great. Our uh, file has just finished downloading. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got inside. All right, so inside that folder, we should have uh, two files. One is going to be the uh, setup exe, that is going to be the USB burning tool that we're going to use to go ahead and load the uh, AML update uh, or upgrade package. So the first step is going to be to double click the setup. You should get this pop up. It says, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? We're going to say yes. Then it's going to ask you what language you want to set it up in. Right now it's either English or Chinese. We're going to say English. Welcome to the USB burning tool setup wizard. Just click next. The setup will install USB burning tool into the following folder. By default it will go into your program files x86. It will make an AmLogic folder. Uh, and then the USB burning tool. If you wanted to, you could move it uh, off of your computer totally to uh, to your hard drive or to an external SD card if you wanted to save space on your computer. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and leave it uh, in the default program files. The next screen will ask you if you want to uh, create a desktop icon. I'm going to go ahead and uh, check this and then click next. Next you'll click install to continue with the installation. You should get this pop up for the device driver installation wizard. The wizard will help you install the software drivers that some computer devices need in order for this to work. Simply click next and now click finish. 
All right, the uh, last step will be to click finish to exit the setup. Now that the USB burning tool has been installed on the computer, let's go ahead and open it up. Every time you launch the tool, you should get this pop-up that asks, do you want to allow this app from unknown publishers to make changes to your device? We're going to say yes. So here is our USB burning tool. Uh, now, this thing's in Chinese. However, if we click up here to this uh, second uh, group of characters, you see that we have the option for English. So we have the USB burning tool open and uh, the next step will be to load the image so that we can go ahead and flash our unit. So going back to the zip folder, you may want to take this AML uh, upgrade package and uh, extract it to your desktop or anywhere that you can remember that you have it. All right, now that we've extracted the AML upgrade package to our desktop, let's go ahead and load it into the USB burning tool. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click on the word file. Then click import image. So over here, we're gonna to navigate to our desktop and we see the AML upgrade package image right here. So let's open it. We're going to want to come over here where it says normal erase and put force erase off. Uh, let's also check reset after success and to overwrite the key. Our next step from here is going to be to connect our Gbox Q3 to our computer and uh, we're going to show you how to do that right now. All right, at this point of the video, I want to go over the list of stuff I mentioned earlier. Number one, you're going to need your G-Box Q3. Uh, second, you're going to need a male USB, a type to a male USB cord. You can get this on Amazon. You're going to need a Windows computer. I got this Quantum Access here as an example. Any Windows computer is going to do. Uh, We've already downloaded the USB burning tool, um, so we have that. And then you're gonna need something to get into the reset button. So here's a couple suggestions. If you have a Q3 uh, in the box that it came with, you probably have this little piece here, which you can uh, use to stick down in the reset port and reset your unit. If you don't have that little piece, maybe you can find a paper clip uh, that'll work just fine. Absolute worst case scenario. Grab yourself a bread tie, fold it in half. This has worked for me plenty of times. So, on your Q3, you have a reset button. All right? Now, inside that reset button, You should hear a soft click. All right. So what you're going to want to do is connect the HDMI to your G-Box Q3. Connect your USB to your computer and then connect the other side to your G-Box Q3. Now we're not going to want to plug it in quite yet. This, this is the tricky part. You want to stick something down in that reset button and hold it down. Now continue to apply pressure to the unit and then add power through the USB. All right. All right, from here, you should see it 
uh, pop up on your computer in the uh, USB burning tool. We're going to show you what that looks like right now. Now back to our computer we have the USB burning tool open. A uh, quick reminder, the first thing you have to do is click file, then import image. From there you're going to find the AML upgrade package uh, that you downloaded and we're going to click open. Over here to the right make sure that uh, you force erase all and uh, that you've checked everything, reset after success and override key. Once you've done that you can go ahead and uh, do the toothpick reset until you see it pop up here in your device ID. Uh, I found that sometimes uh, I'll do it, all the steps correct and uh, nothing will pop up in my device ID. Uh, when that happens just pull the power and uh, do it over again. It should pop up the second time. Once you successfully connected the G-Box to the USB burning tool go ahead and press start. And there we go, we've successfully flashed our G-Box Q3 to the latest stable firmware. The box will go ahead and reset itself from here and turn on. And uh, that's about it. So we've made it to the end of the video and uh, just want to send a couple quick shout outs. Uh, number one, I want to shout out uh, our viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel and viewing our videos, uh, your comments definitely shape the way that this channel grows. Uh, I'd also like to send a shout out to the Magicom dev team for providing us with the tools that we need and working so hard uh, on this stable release with us. Hopefully this video helped and uh, don't forget to comment below. Definitely don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and uh, as always we appreciate you watching. Have a great day.